Hi, this is Shannon Albert from www.propschool.com and recently I did an event called Highway in the Sky Dine Around and I wanted to come here and tell you all the details. Stay tuned. So Highway in the Sky Dine Around is an event you may never have heard of before. It actually had slipped my mind. I remember when it was announced but then I forgot that it was a thing and I'd never done it so I decided to go ahead and try it on my last trip. It's a mouthful to say, in fact, I can never remember the full thing. It is written down on a piece of paper in front of me just so I can say it correctly for this video. I'm just gonna call it Highway in the Sky. Basically, to give you an overview, and then I'm gonna walk you through how our night went when we did it, it is a monorail crawl for the resorts around Magic Kingdom, and you do food and drinks at every resort. It is a five course progressive dinner. It costs $170 per person, and you cannot use dining plan credits for it. There are no discounts. If discounts were available, we would have been able to use them because between me and the person I was with, we have annual passes, Tables of Wonderland, and DVC ownership, and there are no discounts available for any of those. To attend, you have to be 12 and older, but I would highly recommend 21 and older since drinks are such a big part of it. And if you don't drink alcohol, I would definitely really think hard about the value because so much of it is drinks that um, you may not feel like you get your money's worth. The event is currently available Monday through Thursday most of the time. There are some weeks when that is not true, but in general it is available Monday through Thursday. The starting time of it varies, it's, but it's usually between 6 and 7 o'clock so dinner time. That time is based on the fireworks time, I believe, so um, you'll just have to check when you book it to see what your specific time is. There is a dress code for this event, and Disney states that men must, must wear khakis, slacks, or dress shorts, and collared shirts. Jeans may be worn if they're in good condition. Sports coats are optional. Women must wear capri pants, skirts, dresses, or dress shorts. Again, jeans may be worn if they're in good condition. Not permitted are tank tops, flip-flops, swimsuits, swimsuit cover-ups, hats for gentlemen, cut-offs, torn clothing, and t-shirts with offensive language, language and or graphics. I know none of, none of you all are trying to show up with offensive words on your shirt. But basically, it's just a little nicer event, and there aren't too many things at Disney World where there is a dress code, but this just happens to be one of them. The number of people in the group is very small. In our group, I think it was 24 or so. When I followed along, when somebody else did it recently, there were 16 people, so not a big group. You kind of do get to know each other throughout the evening. So that's sort of the highlights, the details of the event. And so I wanna kind of walk you through the evening that I recently had when I did this. So the check-in is at the Wave, which is on the first floor of the Contemporary, right next to the, the main desk there. And there's a room just off of the hostess stand at the restaurant that is reserved specifically for this event. It is where you check in, it is where you get your lanyard, and it is also where they start to give you appetizers and drinks to get your evening started. After you are there for, I think it is about 30 minutes. They tell you that each place is gonna, each, each course is gonna be about 30 minutes. You board the monorail. And for this event, the front car, the front portion of the monorail, not where the driver is, but the front portion of the monorail is reserved for guests of this event. So you get to walk right onto the front and go to the next stop. The second stop is at the Polynesian. And on the night that we were there, the very front of the Polynesian, when you walk in, had a little area roped off for us. And we had tables, mostly standing tables. There were a couple tables where you could sit down. And we had some food and drinks there with music being played. I think I've heard sometimes they do this outside, but uh, it, that was not the case on the night that we were there. It was just right at the front of the Polynesian. Third stop as you may predict, is at the Grand Floridian. So we took the monorail over to the Grand Floridian and our first stop at the Grand Floridian was in Citricos, which is a restaurant there. They split our group up into different parts. Our part of the group was in a dining room. It was like a private dining room. And we all had lots of time to ourselves. We went around the table and talked and really got to know each other. And we were served lots of great food and drinks again. We had wine options that night between white and red wines and um, really great food. 
we had another stop inside the Grand Floridian after we left Citrico. So we went down to the tea room on the first floor and we had charcuterie and champagne in that room. So Grand Floridian has two stops. And um, that was lovely as well. Um, and then our final stop was we boarded the monorail and headed back to the Contemporary Resort where we were taken to a balcony that was just designated, This one end of it was just designated for our group to watch Happily Ever After, fireworks. And it was a really great view. And there we had desserts and coffees and things like that to have while we watched. So overall, fantastic night. Most of the people that were there seemed to be on a date night, but it doesn't have to be that way. One woman was by herself and it was kind of great for her because there was lots of people to talk to. And it, it did appear that everyone in the group was just a Disney diehard. Everyone knew a lot about the parks. They had been many times, had their wedding there. So if you are a Disney person who's done lots of things and you're looking for something new, this is a really great way to do it. And I would highly recommend it if you have a group because as a group, you can travel from one to the other and um, enjoy plenty of time to talk and have great food and wine in the process. So I hope that's helpful. I will link to information in the description if you wanna book it for your trip. Thanks for joining. All right, everybody, with a feeling. With a feeling that I'm going to love you, gonna love you, till the end of time. All right, give me a shout, there's a round of applause.